So, for today, <clears throat> we have a presentation that is about a complete zirconia restoration, implant supported. I think this is the future in this type of restoration, uh, but I want to speak a little bit before I start about treatment planning, because this type of restoration is just the outcome of our treatment planning. And I want to start with this slide of patients coming to my office in Castellón, in Spain. I am working in Spain. And all these patients are coming to our office asking for teeth. They don't know about material. They don't know about complete denture or fixed detachable restoration. These patients are looking for a teeth. This patient asks the dentist for new teeth. And always we can give aesthetic for our patient. You can see in these four patients that I am showing that we can restore the cases, we can give function and aesthetic for our patient. Now, let me show you some cases in monolithic zirconia. I showed you this case before and I show you how we can restore the case, right? And I show you that the analysis of the case is very important. I show you how this patient is with a specific condition that we need to take care in the analysis. And I show you this slide. I just want to remember that the first step is where is the incisal edge and where is the occlusal plane. Second step, where is the margin of the crown? Next step, where is the bone? And measure the distance. It's more than three millimeters. It's an indication for fig detachable. So after we determine in our cases, where is the midline, incisal edge, tip of the canine, and occlusal plane, go and determine what is the ideal margin of your crown. And after that, check, after you have this margin, check where is the bone and measure the distance. How? You know, working with our uh, surgical or radiologic template. You can see here in the anterior area, where is the planet crown and the distance to the bone? Is three millimeter? No, it's far away. Or in the area of the canine, take a look where is the, the teeth that we need to replace and the distance, far away. Or in the area of this premolar, where is the distance? More than three millimeters, far away, or in the area of the molar. So this is an indication after we make the analysis to fabricate a fixed detachable restoration where the pink and white aesthetic need to be incorporated into the prosthesis. This is the paper that I published in the Journal of Prostodontics. So these cases where pink and white aesthetic need to be incorporated into the prosthesis is an ideal case for this type of fixed detachable restoration. You can see the grad aesthetic that we can obtain uh, working with this type of prosthesis. Ideal when you are working with patients that when they smile show the area of the soft tissue. It's very important that you work with a good dental technician that can create and simulate a natural soft tissue. And you can see this is in 2008. Take a look where is the level of the bone now in 2011. Can you see that the bone remains stable if you compare it between 2008 and 2011? And if we make a zoom, you can see in 2011 that the bone around all implant remain stable. This is very important. Patient can clean this type of prosthesis and working with monolithic zirconia, we have a reduction in the accumulation of a plaque. You don't have too much plaque retention in this type of prosthesis. You can see in an occlusal view, this is in 2008, you can see the occlusal surface and after in 2011 you can see that remain perfect. We don't have chipping because we don't have failed spatic ceramic in the occlusal surface. Use the glazing that gives the color to the uh, artificial teeth. 
and of course important the design because patients need to clean. And you see that the, the restoration is in a light contact with the soft tissue, but patient can clean. Now, let me show you or speak about the restorative option that we have working with this monolithic zirconia. We have different options. So when we have the implant in a perfect position, very parallel, and the axis of this implant are for occlusal or for the palatal area or for lingual, this is a perfect situation to make a screw retained fig detachable restoration made in monolithic zirconia. Can you see here? All the axis is for occlusal, palatal, or lingual. When we have implant in a bad position, we have implant in anglet position, and we have the axis for vocal, it's not an ideal, but maybe the aesthetic is not compromised because it's in some areas that nobody can see in the mouth of the patient. So we can make a screw retained 100% zirconia restoration. This is one of the cases. You can see this is made by CAT CAM from the block of zirconia. Take a look in the lateral view. Can you see that the axis is in the area of the papilla in the distal or in the posterior area? So this situation is good for the aesthetic. We don't compromise the aesthetic. Take a look of the frontal view. You cannot see what is the axis for the implant. This is upper and lower monolithic zirconia. Can you see how the dental technician can simulate the uh, soft tissue? The idea working with this pretau bridge, with this monolithic zirconia, is to avoid this feldespatic ceramic, to avoid the shipping. So if you want to uh, add feldespatic ceramic, you can do if you think that you can improve the aesthetic. But it's important to keep the incisal edge in full zirconia because the idea to use this type of prosthesis is to make a strong restoration in this area of contact. Okay, we can use if we want. Personally, most of my cases is use full zirconia. I don't want to have the chipping in any or make a thin zirconia area in the incisal edge. So the dental technician can improve the aesthetic and the occlusal surface using the different bars that we can find in the laboratory. Of course, they can make for the copying machine or for the CAT CAM. This is made by CAT CAM. You can see the full block of zirconia. This is upper and lower. And this is one of the cases where we reduce the uh, zirconia in the vocal aspect just to add feldespatic ceramic. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope I have the opportunity to speak again for you. Thank you. For more education programs, visit the Guide Institute at www.guidedental.com.